Good morning. I got up at 4.30 as usual this morning. Believe it or not, it was 82 degrees when I got up. How is this for um, crazy Arizona weather in Oregon? So I have my trusty little portable fan here in case I get too hot as I do this very long video this morning. Compliments of Sue Ann. Thank you, Sue Ann. Um, so we did our big farewell for Father Hans over the weekend. Uh, I have to say it was tender for me as well. Uh, he and I work very closely together, as I think you can tell, uh, three years, and especially working through COVID time together, uh, we just did a lot of collaboration, the two of us and the whole staff. Really grateful for that. Uh, I know some parishes shut down a lot more than we did, and I can't imagine walking through that without the support of both Father Hans and the amazing staff that we have here. So thanks to all of them. Uh, it's hard doing the goodbyes. Uh, appreciate the warmth that all of you have shown to him. Um, I think part of our affection for Father Hans is that he's been just so real with us, so um, so eager just to be a part of our community. I'm, I'm really, really grateful for him and for that. And I'm glad he's not gonna be far away so we can continue to, to run into each other more regularly than if he was down in Medford or something like that. So thanks for the warmth and the way you sent him off yesterday. Um, God bless him all the way. I want you to know too that for, for us as priests, um, we know going into this that there's gonna be a lot of goodbyes. It's just the reality. So it's not a surprise for us. It doesn't make it easy. Um, I, I'm very attached here as well. And as you would guess, knowing that I'll be leaving next summer, 12 months from now, um, makes you wonder, oh God, that's gonna be hard to go through. It will be, it will be. I'm very attached here as well. But also I know that this is, this is the reality of our lives. Um, every, as Father Hans spoke so well a week ago, you know, everything changes and we can either learn to embrace that or we can live in constant dread and resistance and sometimes even anger and resentment about those changes. Um, I'm not uh, absolved from doing those things myself, and it, it's, it happens. Um, but as we try to live our lives faithful to who we are and where we're going and what God wants of us, for each of us, not just as clergy, um, that's the ongoing process of trust, of surrender, of deep faith that God is working, God will continue to work, and God will provide. You know, that's that whole message of what we call technically the Paschal Mystery, that whole process of death and resurrection, loss and renewal. Um, it's all around us, it's within us, it's human existence, and Jesus showed us the way through that. And gives us the assurance that it all works in his plan. So God bless each of you. God bless Father Hans. Uh, remember our chapel is open 24 hours. If anyone needs a place that's cooler, come on in. Uh, my only restriction is that you need to pray for the parish while you're there at least a little bit. Okay? God bless you. Bye-bye.